Praise the Lord, saints of God. This is Pastor Ambrose. Today I'm going to be talking about how we are to rule in life. We are to rule according to the word of God. A Christian was not born to live in fear. A Christian was not born to live in poverty. A Christian was not born to live in deliverance, going for deliverance every time. The Christian was born to be a light to the world. A light that shines in darkness. And when light shines in darkness, that light dissolves darkness. You see, join me as we go to Romans chapter 5, verse 17. In Romans chapter 5, verse 17, the Bible says that because of the disobedience of one man, Adam, death reigned. Much more than them which receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness when reign in life through one Jesus Christ. You see, when you were born again, you were born into grace. But that grace don't just come to you, you have to receive it. That's Romans chapter 5, verse 17. It said, Those who receive the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life in Christ Jesus. That is very remarkable. He didn't say everybody will reign in life. He didn't say that if you are in church or in a particular denomination that you will reign in life. He didn't say that if you are in the choir, if you are in usher, ushering department, or if you go to programs every time, every every time there's a program you are there, that, that will cause you to reign. He said, those who have received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in Christ Jesus. What does, what does that mean? You know, the fact that you belong to a, 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 <coughs> a denomination doesn't mean anything. The fact that you go to church doesn't mean much. What matters to God is the fact that you have received that grace and the gift of righteousness. He said, death reign through one. Death reign through Adam. What type of death? is a death of, it's a spiritual death where you live in abject poverty, you live in failure, you are always a victim. You know, Satan has dominion, he ruled because Adam sold out, sold out to Satan. But the Bible now says, oh, that's a, a homeless woman. I am looking for some of these homeless people to feed. I just found one looking at the trash bin. This mostly are women here. There's no place to park here. But today I'm just going around distributing food and ministering to people on the streets. You know, yes, yeah, I was saying, it's only those who have received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness that will reign. So, today, have you received the gift of righteousness? Some people think that they are not righteous. You ask them, are you righteous? They say, wow, and nobody's righteous. You know, in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21, it's a very remarkable verse. It says, him who knew no sin became sin for us so that we can become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The fact that you declare Jesus as the Lord of your life, he automatically impacts righteousness into your spirit. And you become as righteous as Jesus because he is now your righteousness. That's what the Bible says. You don't try to be righteous. You don't strive to be righteous. Righteousness becomes your nature. Because that is the nature of God. He impacts that into your spirit. Whether you know it or not. You know, a lot of people think that, some, some people think that the fact that they don't wear earrings, they don't do makeup, they don't wear trousers, especially women. And, 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 and that is what will make them acceptable as holy. But that just works. Whether you wear trousers or you don't wear trousers, whether you wear earrings or makeup, make no difference. Because all you need is to be in Christ. He impacts his righteousness into your spirit. That is just the truth. But a lot of people don't understand that. You see that in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 21, I believe. 
He said, Him who knew no sin became sin for us so that we can become right righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And return to Romans chapter 5, verse 17. He said, Those who have received the abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness will reign in life. They will reign, not in heaven, but they will reign. Reign means R E I G N. That means you rule. You rule as kings. Wow, that's marvelous. There is a very important word that he used. The word receive. He said those who receive. You know, the New Testament was translated from Greek word on the Greek language. And the Greek language is Lambano to receive. To receive means to take hold of and make it yours. Never let it go. So once you are born again, you have to reach out and take hold of grace. You have to reach out and take hold of it. So that's why you have to be taught about grace. A lot of these churches they don't teach people about grace. What they do is they specialize in making people slaves, keeping them as babies. Can you imagine being in a church for two years and still coming to church every day to just be hearing messages? What are you doing after two years? You need to be trained so they can be sent out. You need to be equipped with the word so they can reach out and teach other people. Jesus said you are the light of the world. So until you receive that abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, you ain't reigning. So I pray for you today that you will rule and reign in the name of Jesus. That the word of God will walk in you. Remember, you, you no longer be slave to circumstances. You no longer be seeking you know, help from all those fake prophets who spiritually abuse you, who spiritually rape you. But you will go and receive the word of God by yourself and you begin to reign in life. You reign over sickness, you reign over poverty, you reign over fear, you reign over anything that comes against you. And God will be pleased with you. So keep the word of God in your heart. Let the word of God rule you. Let the word of God dominate your thinking and you will reign just as Jesus said. I trust that this video has been a blessing to you. I want you to just do me a favor. I want you to share this video click on the like button as well as the notification button so that you will be the first to get notification of my upcoming video and also want to hear from you send me your comments you can also visit me at www.ambroseking.org yes www.ambroseking.org and remember that jesus loves you and so do i and i will see you in my next video bye god bless you this has been Pastor Ambrose. I love you.